Hey, what's up guys? It's Mr. Jens with EdTech Integration. In today's video, I'm going to show you an easy and simple way for students to navigate Canvas and how to use this resource to find grades, to look at things like hypothetical grades, and then also to find assignments. So if I was to go into student view here, now again, my course is set up a little bit different. This is my home screen. On the left hand side here, I have three different options for students. I want to make it as simple as possible. So if a student was to click on grades, they would see this page. Okay. So now again, I'm under my test student. This is a good example here. So if I had an 18% in this class or a 78% or an 88% and I was in advisory or if I was at home and I was looking at how can I get my grades up? This is how I teach students how to navigate. Now, before I talk about that, mine looks a little bit different, but on their screen here, if they click on this, this will say class. So they can click on this. <clears throat> and again, it looks a little bit different. They can scroll down and they can click on their language arts class and they can click apply and it'll take them to their language arts grade or their history grade or their math grade. So basically this will switch their class. Um, again, they have this as well. So they can also switch um, how they arrange this display here by assignments or due date or module. They can also change the quarter. So they just have one more toggle menu here that will allow them to change the class. Up here is assignments, those are traditional assignments, and under here is learning mastery. So this will show them what standards that they have mastered. Now, now of course, this only shows up if you as a teacher is attaching standards to tests and assignments and things like that. Okay, so I'm gonna go through a couple different parts here. The first part I'm going to talk about is, if I was a student, how would I locate assignments? Now, in my class, all class assignments are worth four points. So you can see here, four points, four points. This is a test, so those are different, but all the rest of them are four points. These ones that have zeros here, these ones are out of, out of zeros. So there's assignments that we have in our classes where they don't count for points, so these are just complete and incomplete. So if a student was to come through here and he was to say, okay, zero out of four, there's a, there's a discussion board that I'm missing. I never took this exit ticket. This is how I teach students how to look for things. So I tell them to click the control button on their keyboard. And let's say, for example, they wanted to do this exit ticket. They click this exit ticket. It opens a new tab. And it'll take them to the assignment. But oftentimes, they're going to get this menu. Now, if there's no preview available, they can add comments and different things like that, and they can see how many attempts they have left and that kind of thing. But if there's no preview, it kind of defeats the purpose of accessing it through grades. What they're going to do now is they're going to come up here and just click on this link. This link will take them to the exit ticket right there. So I tell them if you're in advisory or at home, click on the link through grades, click the link up here, and then it's going to take them there. They'll take their two, three, four minutes, five minutes, however long it takes to do the exit ticket. Once they're done, they'll push submit. And they'll just close out that tab. And then they'll go down and they'll look for different things. Okay. So again, you can do this for any assignment. Some assignments will take you right there. Some assignments, again, will look like this where it says no submission or whatever it may be. In this case, I can click the submit assignment button and it'll take me to the assignment. Now, I've just trained kids because it seems to be different for each assignment. I've trained kids that once they click on it from grades, just come up here to this link, because this link will always work. It'll always take you to the assignment. So that's the first part. The second thing I wanna show you guys, and the second thing I teach my students how to do, is Canvas has a built-in hypothetical grade system in here. So you'll notice that if I click on these, they will change, okay? So if I click on these here, they can change. Now, if I have a 17% or 18% or whatever it may be in this class, and I said, okay, if I was to go through and I was to take the final, and I was to study really, really hard, and let's say I got a 28, or 27 out of 28 points. Canvas will show them the hypothetical grade. So in other words, it's not changing their grade, it just shows them what it would be if they scored 27 out of 28 points. Now let's say they did this discussion board. So they're at home, they clicked on the discussion board, they did that. That would take it up to a 56, and they were able to do this exit ticket. Now they're at a 61. And let's say, for example, they turned in their essay and they did a really good job on their essay. It would take them to a 78. So this is a really powerful tool because it allows students to see what it could be. 
and also just gives them an idea of what the power of each assignment is. So how much this is going to actually bump it up, things like that. So if you want to take this away, so take the hypothetical score away, you can just click these back buttons here. Okay, so that's the second part. So that's a really cool part. It's really powerful for students because they can see it visually change in front of their eyes. The third part is a little bit different on my side, so it's going to look different than students. But if I was to click on this here, this checkbox over here, it will bring down a menu. Now this menu will show all the students. So if you have 200 students in your class, it will take the average of all of the students in your class from this assignment. So it'll show them the lowest score, the average score, and the high score. Now this is an option you can turn off in settings. Um, I think it, personally I like having it because it shows students where everyone's at and then they can also see their grade and say, okay, I was above average today on the test. Um, if you don't want students comparing to each other, you certainly don't have to. Again, you can turn this off in the settings. But again, it's kind of nice because you can go through here and students can see how the rest of their peers did on the test um, compared to them. The last little piece I'll show you here is two parts. First part is down here, you'll see um, it'll give the students a breakdown of each of your categories. And these categories are set up in your assignments tab, so your exit tickets. In my case, class and practice, test and quiz. Um, these are the not graded assignments and these are imported assignments. So it'll show them the breakdown of their total grade and then also the points that they have here and the percentages they have in this. So, so for this student's example, they need to work on exit tickets the most. They have the worst um, grade or percentage in exit tickets. Now. This will also change here if you put in things, if you put in the hypothetical grades. Okay, so as I change these hypothetical grades, these percentages will change as well. If a student was at home or a parent wanted to print grades, there's a print grades option here. This print grades option here will print out a pretty clean um, list of assignments that students can look at. They can highlight different things like that. Um, mine has this down here because I'm in my test student, but they wouldn't see that obviously. All right, guys, that's all I got for you today. If you like this content, you like this video and you found it helpful, please hit the subscribe button and the like button. Also, if you had any questions or comments that you wanted to share or ask, please leave those down below. Thanks for stopping by, guys.